Hello and welcome to this week's video. My name is Dr. John Heyer. I'm a holistic chiropractor and acupuncturist in Frankfurt, Illinois. This is another video in our series called What's the Difference? And I thought I would take a moment to do something a little different in this video and try to use an image or a diagram. I apologize for the drawing. Clearly I'm not an art student. But one tool that we can use to help understand what's the difference between conventional medicine and alternative is an image of a tree. And let's take for example that the branches of a tree represent body systems. Maybe our respiratory system, our digestive, or even our endocrine system, musculoskeletal system, or even our cardio, our heart system. And from there, branches and leaves sprout and shoot out. And, and this side of the tree is what we refer to as the disease or the health issue side. And when things start to malfunction and short circuit, we start to get a lot of symptoms. Maybe it's a cold, maybe it's pains, maybe it's aches, maybe it's high blood pressure, things like that. And the leaves represent symptoms. There can be a lot of things. They're all from necessarily the same body system, maybe the cardiovascular system or the muscular system, but symptoms can be plentiful and they can be changing and um, sprouting up new ones here and there, right? And when we actually have enough symptoms in a category, we may actually classify it as a disease. Something like irritable bowel, arthritis, diabetes, autoimmune issues, thyroid or adrenal or endocrine issues, as well as obesity. So most of conventional medicine takes care of this side, or at least focuses on this side, chasing after the symptoms or the signs or the disease or the diagnosis. And don't get me wrong, we need that at times. The problem is it's not getting to the underlying root cause. And that's where we want to look down the trunk to the roots. And in particular, as a holistic doctor, I focus on three things in, in, in my practice, structure, body nutrition, and the energetic side or the mental and emotional side. And let me take a minute to explain more about that. So when I'm dealing with body structure, as a chiropractor, oftentimes I'm dealing with trauma, inflammation, and it's due to underlying misalignments of the vertebrae, the joints, in the body. The nutritional aspect can be many, many um, underlying issues there. Dealing with toxins, metabolic dysfunction, food sensitivities, um, vitamin or mineral deficiencies, and if those are present, then we'll obviously start to see issues in the nutritional or the, the chemical aspect of the body. And then the energetic side, when I refer to that, I'm really more referring to the acupuncture meridians or the energy side of things. And if there's an imbalance in that, we'll start to see things manifest up top. So of course, you know, our culture and our society is geared towards take a drug to deal with the symptom. Well, the problem is that there can be many, many different leaves with the same underlying root cause. And unfortunately, maybe you've experienced this or know somebody who has, that it just seems like they're chasing after new symptoms with a new drug. Or they're trying three or four different drugs and they're not feeling any better. And it's because the doctor they're working with isn't addressing the underlying root causes. So that's one of the differences between alternative and conventional medicine is of course, we want to be aware of these things. We want to be attentive to what is the disease or what is the condition or what is the body system that is malfunctioning, but we want to dig deeper. We don't want to just mask the symptoms. We don't want to just put a medication in there to be a temporary band-aid. We want to look at what is the underlying root cause. Here's the thing, that takes work and it takes effort and it takes a doctor who knows how to do that to help a person actually achieve health and balance. So, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give us a like, or even give us a comment, or if you have a question, um, put your question in the comment box. That will not only give us an opportunity to respond to whatever you may want to know about, but it also helps us in our rankings. And if you know somebody who might be able to benefit from hol a holistic or an alternative approach, please share this video with them so that they can learn a little bit more about what we do so we can help them get a healthier life. Thank you.